hotel back in the house my day pretty much started off at uh, unique brows which is pretty much where i pretty much pretty much what the fuck which is where i get my brows threaded but i am heading out again now to sort out my nail situation if you look at it can you see can you see very much overgrown so i'm going to go sort that out now but i thought before i do that uh let me pop in back here and make a smoothie to go uh because it's just around the corner and my appointment is for half past two and it's currently one o'clock so i'm gonna leave immediately after i do um the smoothie probably maybe sit at woolies and have a cup of coffee read my book and then when the time comes go to get my nails done um yeah i'm off today so i'm using my uh, phone camera because my camera camera is upstairs and i kind of want this whole uh footage to be uniform that's why so yeah for now i'm gonna use the phone camera going to head out i'm ready to go now my matte black this i love i love these are my two favorite uh water tumblers let me show you let me show you these are two of my favorite favorite water tumblers one is black but it's more on the clear side and this one is a matte black which i i love it uh, so I just got my brows done. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but I can, okay? Well, I didn't show you how they looked before, but I did take a picture that I sent to the boy to show him how they looked before, so I'll insert that somewhere here. But they were terrible. So I'm going to go now, probably pop into Woolies, have a coffee and maybe a, a, a tiny muffin or a, or a croissant or something, and i read my current read which is the burning girls i'm still reading that uh it's getting hot it's i'm halfway through the book and it's getting really really good so yeah and wait for my nail appointment and then we're gonna go there is gonna be so happy yeah. 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 Flex. she wanna know me I stay low key I'll cast no breaks baby let them hold sleep body on to make your girl OD I get in my way never out of my lane feel like you the one in the more one so what it's gonna be baby squad up we finna go deep riding on a team got what you need baby won't you keep me company So, hi, <laughs> this is the romanticizing my life vlog, okay? There's a bunch of things. Welcome, it's a new video. Are you subscribed? Please do. Let's try and get this video to over a thousand likes. Once it gets to a thousand likes, it helps me. It recommends me a lot more. It puts me out there. Um, and if you want more of this kind of content, I really would appreciate you to just like the video. Because I know a lot of you watch this video, but not enough of you like the video. So please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Welcome. A um, couple of things to talk about today, but a bunch of holes too. Uh, the only thing is, I'm going to call this the romanticizing my life vlog. The reason why I want to call it that <laughs> is because I did for myself a couple of things that I haven't done for myself in this vlog in a while okay 
and I'm not talking about the general things like getting my nails done or whatever even though I do have a new set let me just shiny side it a little bit do you have a new set on look at that beautiful and this set is actually inspired by my tattoos so if you look at my tattoos actually it'll probably be on instagram if you look at my tattoos the drawings that i have on the nails are actually what's on my tattoos anyway so uh this is the romanticizing my life vlog and when i think of romanticizing my life i think of doing things for myself that i don't do on a regular in which i am rewarding myself and i'm spoiling myself uh for just getting through more especially this year getting through a very difficult year um also going through a mental health breakdown and just i haven't done nice soft things for myself in a while and soft things can mean like a me time like a face mask like reading my reading was interrupted quite a bit when um around my mental health struggle period and um i didn't read for a really long time i couldn't bring myself to read but i'm starting to read again bought myself some skincare but the most important thing for me that means um romanticizing myself and my life flowers i haven't bought myself flowers in months wow my stomach is screaming okay screaming i haven't bought myself flowers in months and today i went ahead and bought two pay two bouquets two pairs of flowers two bouquets okay of flowers that's how much i feel like i want flowers in my life and another way in which i reward myself honestly and romanticize my life is wine i drink wine and you guys know that i drink wine but for the past two months or so i haven't had wine especially in the house i've had gin i've poured myself a couple of glasses of gin every you know couple of nights and whatever just to unwind after a long day but wine is a great way for me to romanticize my life when i think about pouring myself a glass of wine and sitting in front of or, or on the couch somewhere over there and reading my book and you know tending to my plants and there's just so much that i've started doing that is my way of romanticizing my life and i feel like it's so important to do this it's so 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 important because we work so hard we're under so much pressure we are in the middle of a new wave of uh the the the, the corona pandemic and 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 a new strand you know um um omicron omicron om omicron i don't know okay new strand all of that stuff there's just a lot going on that we just don't a lot of the time don't have the finances or even the time to reward ourselves by romanticizing our lives. I don't go out as much as I used to anymore for brunch and all of that. And recently there's just been so much that has required my attention here at the house, my attention and my money that um I just haven't had the time. I'll talk to you about all those kinds of things before I get into that. I will show you I am coming from Woolies as you can tell. Okay, I am coming from Woolies, so I'm going to show you what I picked up um, from Woolies and also skincare. I had to pick up skincare because I hadn't bought myself skincare in three months, two and a half months, maybe. So I needed to top up. If you follow me, you know exactly what's going to come out of that box because I don't change my skincare. My skin is great right now, and if it ain't broke, if it ain't broke nothing to fix right nothing to fix so i am going to sanitize my hands oh snap oh I'm sanitize my hands real quick i've left my the the door into my garage open and i can smell the diesel from my car because i i just filled up my tank because Guess why petrol and diesel are going up tomorrow in South Africa because <laughs> because the government doesn't rate us. <laughs> they don't care, you know, how much money we have to spend and all of that. Yeah, they don't care. So the first two things that I had to pick up 
or two bottles of red wine. I try and stay away from white wine. I visit white wine, especially when I'm out or whatever, but there's a lot of calories in, in white wine. There's just a lot of calories in wine, but it's, 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 it's unprecedented in white wine, just so you know. Um, then I picked up some, what are these things? Rusks, uh, because my containers over there are empty and I need to refill them with rusks and biscuits. So I picked up some rusks. I picked up some, I picked them, I picked them. I picked up some fruits, gro uh, grops, grops, grapes, <laughs> yogurt, because yogurt is a standard uh, weekly shop in my place, house. And then the other um, biscuits that I got are the crunchies from Woolies. Um, so many people love these. Well, people who come and visit me, who come and visit my house, love the crunchies and whatever. So I'm going to empty all of those out and put them in the containers and all of that, blah, blah, blah. Um, I am on an Evo kick. There's, there's times where I can go weeks without eating avocado. Now I eat avocado every two days. I'll eat a avocado and I feel like having an avocado sandwich now but I also need to have a green smoothie this is how I regulate myself by having green smoothies I don't I don't just drink green smoothies every day because I love them and I don't mind drinking them every day but it's also my way every day to get greens into my system because at night I'll typically just have a piece of meat and a, a side salad or something strawberries I'm romanticizing my life okay this is another, this is another fruit that is me purely romanticizing my life. <laughs> orange melon. Orange melon. I love melon. And I love melon with cold meats like parma ham, salami, uh, all of those, prosciutto. I love melon with that stuff. So I think I've got some of that in the house. So... That's, that this will be me one of these days having the melon having it with parma ham or prosciutto salami whatever with a glass of wine that's me romanticizing my life chaps that's what that's what people do it be like that sometimes and then lemon because I am on a lemon water kick I've been drinking lemon water all morning from this and this is from typo uh, if you follow me on Instagram you've probably seen it it's one of my favorite tumblers it is black and do you see the match? Black air, black air, black air. Can you see it? Exactly. Then out of, take a lot. Uh, then we've got the flowers. So we've got the lilies. And then we've got this mix of beautiful flowers. Look at that. Look at that. I think they're so gorgeous. And the lilies haven't even opened yet, which is fantastic. So I'm going to put those in water right now. Right now. But before I do that, I'm just going to empty out skincare box I already know what I have in here if you follow me you know what you know what is in here you know what is in here okay there we go two things take a lot in their boxes take a lot in their boxes she's two things uh jojoba melon seed baobab facial oil from skin creamery I have this I use this all the time it's one of the reasons, one of the major. Let me just focus for a second and not hurt myself here. This is a very sharp knife. Uh, one of the major, major reasons why my skin just agrees with me a lot of the time is this. And I always buy it. I never change it up. Wow, why do I feel like it's leaking? Yeah, it's not leaking, but it's fine. Um, I always buy it. I never switch it out because I know that this is doing something to my skin. The only different thing this time around is the Skin Functional Hydration Juice, which is the hyaluronic acid, 2% HA plus 4% B5, right? And the reason why I picked this up is because I was using the hyaluronic acid from the ordinary skincare and 
someone i don't remember who suggested that i pick up this one because uh take a lot charges an arm and a leg for the ordinary skincare and then you could get it on cult beauty or beauty whatever and i was just like i don't have time for shipping and all of blah blah so if i can get a hyaluronic acid locally i'm gonna get it and try it out so this one it it seems like um quite a few the sun is quite strong but yeah so this one it seems like um it seems like quite a few people love this one so i'm gonna try it out i think i was speaking to valencia when i was speaking about this uh and i, I was telling her that i'm gonna go pick mine up it smells actually pretty good it doesn't smell bad at all i thought there would be like a strong scent to it, it smells pretty good so topped up on my skincare even though i didn't get skincare for days it's, it's because i'm trying that thing where don't spend money you don't have to spend you know what i'm saying and <clears throat> given the things that i have to do to this house you'll understand why i'm not spending ridiculous amounts of money now i'm gonna tidy this mess up put these flowers into a vase into vases oh i'll put the flowers into vases and then probably make myself a smoothie unwind a little bit gonna tell you about the book gonna tell you a couple of things about my plot guys there's a lot going on <sighs> let's get into it let's tidy up this kitchen just promise you never lie to me keep the moves on suck i know what's all up everything good keep the vibes on crush i know what's all good know what's all I'm just realizing I don't want all the leaves on there. I think it's just maybe, yeah, because then the leaves. You know, I love lilies, right? I hope you guys can hear me, right? I love me some lilies. My only problem with lilies is that once they open, yeah, man, they can make the place dirty. Once they open and their little flowers start blooming, oh, Lord, chair. Yeah. They can make the space dirty, and then it's a problem. I'm just taking off some of the leaves because I just find looking at them like this annoying. Oh my lord, those are beautiful. <gasps> I'm so excited. I'm already feeling so wonderful. Look at this. Look at this bouquet. Look at this bouquet. It's so beautiful. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but gosh. Gorgeous. Gorgeous.
you may ask yourself, what does she do with the leftovers? Because there's always leftovers, right? Now, because I go to the office, and our caretaker there at the office loves everything sweet. Biscuits, rusks, cookies, whatever. I put them in here. And, wow. And I typically just take them to the office the next day because there's always somebody who's going to eat rusks. There's always somebody who's going to have cookies. So I keep them with me until I go to the office the next day. And here you go. That's pretty much done. Um, now I am gonna hang ten a little bit. Um, I am finishing off my book that I'm currently reading, The Burning Girls, uh, by C.J. Tudor. It's wild. It's it's. I'm like forty pages away from finishing, and it's wild. I really just want to finish it. I'm gonna need maybe about 30 minutes to half, 45 minutes to finish it. But before, I wanted to show you how wildly, amazingly my plants are growing, except one. And I feel like this is the one plant that stresses me out quite a lot. And it's funny because the predecessor to the same plant is sitting outside right now. And because it's been raining, it's actually thriving. And that one was also two seconds away from dying. And now that one is thriving. And I don't know what it is that I was doing wrong with those plants. But the other plants are thriving. They are doing so well. My heart is so happy, so content. I just, I'm romanticizing my life. I'm romanticizing my life. And me romanticizing my life means me loving on my plants. So the first one is that one. You guys see the new leaf that is growing and there's a few of them i think like there's three or four she is looking beautiful the older ones are the darker ones and the new one is the lighter one and they just so lush i love it as a plant owner and as a plant mom and if you're a plant mom or plant dad and you're watching this you're probably really really happy right now because I know I am. <laughs> it looks so, so pretty. And you can see the light one just popping through. And there's another one that's popping through. And then there's another one down there. It's just so pretty. Okay. Uh, now, here's my problem here. Okay. This is the leaf. Okay. And now, um, <laughs> this is the fiddle leaf. It is gorgeous, but it's honestly at this point almost my height. It really is almost my height. Can you see that? That's the, that's the, it's almost here. And I realize now at this point that I am going to have to cut it up and repurpose it in a new plot, pot, in a new pot so that I can, because it's really getting out of hand. And at this point, um, it's actually not even straight anymore. I need to get like a stick or something so that I can balance it, but it is absolutely thriving. I don't even know what to do with it anymore <laughs> because when it started I think it was somewhere there and yeah here we are here we are beautiful now this is the one that is struggling a little bit and so this is the one who's struggling a little bit never mind the the boxes and all of that but this is the one who's struggling a little bit and over the weekend I took her out and I cut out all the dead leaves. This is the one that I normally sit next to when I'm recording my sit down videos. So I took it out over the weekend and left it outside. It's full of water now, which is good. And it rained over the weekend and I cut out all the dead leaves and all of that. What's been happening is this has been happening. It's, I don't know if you're a plant mom or whatever, please tell me what to do here because I'm so confused. It's getting these little white spots everywhere and it's killing me because these bamboo plants struggle quite a bit. I don't know if I'm under 
watering it i'm over watering it i don't know anything anymore and i really need you guys to help me out whereas the old one oh getting up it's a schlep when you're my age whereas the older one oh the lighting yeah these last doors <laughs> the lighting the older one is outside and i'm gonna show you how that one looks it looks so pretty it's coming right gents it's really, really coming right. It was looking so bad. And I know that at some point I'm going to need to take it back into the house or else the sun is going to burn it. So ah, we have a new leaf growing. As you can see, I am so, so happy with this one. So, yeah. So the plant mum, uh, the plant mum in me is losing my shits because they all are thriving except this one down here except that one but we're gonna work it out we're gonna work it out i have time i have patience and i have love for my plants okay even the one upstairs um the one upstairs is a rubber plant even that one is thriving there's new leaves i'm just so happy <laughs> so it's about an hour or so later it is okay five o'clock 17.01 and we're doing that thing where we're romanticizing our lives okay and uh i'm having a drink it's a tuesday but i'm grown <laughs> and no one's gonna tell me what to do on the tuesday okay um so i'm up here because i'm trying to tidy up some of the things that i got um i uh, Went to the shops yesterday and picked up some new body care. There's there's a lot of specials going on at um, the shops because it was Black Friday not too long ago and uh, Cyber Monday and all of that. And there is a big purchase that I'm going to be doing on Take A Lot. And I need to do it like within the next two or three days because, well, I must capitalize on when the sales are happening. So I'm still thinking about that, but pretty much I showed you these earlier on today, which are the facial oils and the, you know, the facial oil and the hyaluronic acid and all of that. And then this, this table is, it's a mess. Okay. It's a mess. I just finished, uh, the burning girls by CJ Tudor. CJ Tudor is a she and the book the twists i never saw any of it coming um one thing that i really love to do when i'm reading thriller novels is to kind of guess how it's gonna end up or who the killer's gonna be or what's gonna happen i love to guess this time around didn't guess anything right I was totally shocked uh, there's one thing that I possibly thought that, yeah, this could be it. And I was close enough, but I wasn't that close, but it's a really, really great book. And, uh, I spoke a little bit of, uh, the synopsis in my previous vlog to this one. So if you want to know about that one, check it out. I think I'm on book number 23 or 24 for the year. I did want to finish off um on 30 books for the year so there is a book that i'm gonna start reading tonight and that's that's a, another thing because um i asked my partner to help me choose i had three options which i'm gonna show you a little bit later on which options and i'm i asked him just choose i didn't give him the synopsis or anything like that i'm actually thinking of putting up on it up on instagram as well um We'll see. But what I'm going to show you now, after I take a sip of my drink, and I'm going to do a little bit of a face mask, a sheet mask. Um, so I did just wipe off my face and all of that. So we're going to do that. But before I do that, I'm going to show you what I picked up from this came slash pick and pay. <laughs> 
So the first two things that I picked up are the I, I'm I'm getting back into these. I don't know what the what the thing is, but I remember in the last vlog, a couple of vlogs ago, I spoke about picking up white satin because it just has such a nostalgic feeling for me. I love it. It's what I was wearing quite a lot in high school. And I really like it because I spend a lot of my time at home and typically when I'm at home, I do not want to spray on my perfumes, like my expensive perfumes. I just know, but at the same time, I just do want to smell nice and fresh and feminine and all of that jazz. I did pick up the white satin perfume again and deodorant body spray again and I also picked up the they're both by Yardley and this one is Bond Street also from uh, Yardley number 25 picked this one up as well so actually because you know when you have the masks on you can't really tell how something smells oh this one smells nice oh honey Okay, it's late, it's late. We're not gonna do that. But I picked this one up. <coughs> mm. Smells really, really good. Uh, I picked that one up, so I got those two. Just for the days where I'm sitting at home and lounging at home and I just still wanna smell good, pick that up. What is a repurchase is this. Now, in the last vlog where I did a disc came haul, I introduced to you guys and to myself the new, I'm sorry, the new Nivea uh, oil infused shower gel and I picked up the honey one and I liked that one. I really did. But then the next time after that, I picked up this one, which was, which is the cotton linen, no, cotton flower scent and organic oil enriched. So it's cotton flower. I picked that one up. It is currently in my uh, shower. It's about here somewhere in my shower and I loved it so much that I picked up this one. So I think out of all of them, I tried the raspberry one or something. I tried the honey one and uh, I tried the cotton flower one and this one happens to be my favorite one. I'm a big fan. It's amazing. It smells divine. Oh, it smells so fresh. It smells like linen. I just, it smells so, so good. So I picked that up. And then again on special, were my faves i don't see why there is a need for us to talk about these these are my favorite 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 shower um gels or shower cream this is more of a shower cream it is more of a shower cream not a shower gel but it smells absolutely amazing also uh fresh but also subtle as well if you think about coconut i'm a big coconut shea butter i'm, I'm a big fan of just that line of body care love that kind of stuff and then what i did also pick up are the dove bars because i really do enjoy the dove bars especially when um i go away or whatever i do like to carry a bar with me and typically a lot of the time i will use a dove um body bar cream bar beauty cream bar i'll use a dove uh cream bar when i run out of um my gynagod this is the only soap that i will put on the putang tang okay it's the only soap that i will apply or put on the putang tang because it does not aggravate it's very very subtle and i really really like it typically i'll go for the original cream bar but i also enjoy this one so i picked up two of these because december is coming and i'm gonna be going to a couple of places in December still thinking on whether I want to vlog not sure let me put you down a little bit um, I'm still thinking on whether I want to vlog or not I'm not sure about that but we'll see how it goes and what actually put me in there is this I love the Listerine Total Care mouthwash I love the purple one uh, the cool mint one which is the blue one is a bit too strong for me it's a bit too strong for me and my partner has cool mint at his house and I'm just like it's the disrespect it's you not rating me basically it's the disrespect uh, so I picked up the total care 
uh, mouthwash. Balisa also uses this one. So it's really great even when I'm use visiting friends or whatever. We are all pretty much mouthwash people. I love that about my friends. We love mouthwash. So it's a thing. Um, then I picked up one Gynagod because I do have two currently in the house. Chilling, vibing. Because we're romanticizing our lives, honey, what I'm going to do is apply the Neutrogena Purifying Boost, the Detoxifier Hydrogel Recovery Mask. So this one is intense purification for a healthy looking complexion. One, mo one mask equals one month usage of serum. Really? I don't know. <laughs> but what I've learned about the sheet masks is that you can keep them and uh, put them in the fridge. So, you know, can do it again a couple of days later. So I cleanse the face already and then it says step two, peel white foam backing on the sheet mask. Okay, the white foam. Okay, so a Neutrogena sheet mask I haven't tried before. Ooh, ooh, okay, ooh. Okay, there's a lot going on here, sweetie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wow, okay, wow. It's just, it's, wow, it's legit coming apart. Okay. So I'm assuming that this is my mouth. Okay. You don't want it messy now. Okay, that's good. Ooh, that feels good. Okay, 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 okay. I'm here for it. Mm-mm, mm-mm, girl. Get it together. Yeah, so it's seven o'clock now and I am going to make something to eat. Um, you know, like when you live alone, you don't cook every day. If, if I cook something, I would have showed you that I cook something, but I didn't. Yesterday, when I was picking up some groceries and all of that for the week, I picked up a full chicken from Wool Woolworths. <laughs> woolies and um so i got that and that's what i'm gonna prepare and i've got a salad as well from woolies as well so that's what i'm gonna make for dinner it's nothing crazy first things first i'm gonna pour myself a glass of wine i'm watching a movie i think it's nigerian on netflix called fine wine so what i try to do when i'm on netflix I don't try to stick to the Hollywood blockbuster, well-known stuff. I try to watch everything from everywhere. And um, recently I've been watching a lot of Nigerian movies and um, Korean K-dramas. And I'm trying to, you know, K-dramas. I watched uh, Love, Marriage and Divorce. And then I watched, this has been in the fridge. So it's nice and chilled. It's been in the fridge for about three hours now so it's nice and chilled i watched uh, uh the love Mar marriage and divorce i watched hellbound because i am i love i love horror horror anything okay horror thriller it's my jam i watched hellbound which is also from korea that one was good was good it was good i enjoyed that i uh, can't wait for the second season and from nigeria i watched alter ego with uh Omo Omotola, Omotola. <sighs> Forget her surname. Um, which was good. I enjoyed that. And um, I, I'm currently watching a series, a Nigerian series called Encounters as well. So I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to utilize Netflix f for everything and not just the well known staff or whatever. No. No, I'm not trying to do that. Pour ourselves a nice glass. And remember why we love ourselves. And why it's been a hard year and we deserve, we deserve a moment of peace from time to time. What's going on? <laughs> it's a new day. And I'm starting this portion of the vlog at half past four. Five o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, the afternoon side, the sunlight is streaming and it's looking really pretty in the house right now. Uh, but that, 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 that's not why I'm here. I am here because I'm probably going to close off this vlog here 
from this sitting position and I did a shoot today. That, that's why I am tired because a lot of the time when I do my shoots, which are pictures that you guys often see on Instagram, a lot of the time when I do those shoots, I've got somebody here, TK is here helping me shoot those particular shoots. Feel me? Helping me shoot those photos and all of that. Um, but today I decided to chop chop do it myself because I had been doing it for my by myself. I can't even talk. I had been doing it uh, myself for a long time until I got TK on board and started, you know, I pay him to uh, help me cut my shots and do my shoots and all of that because he gets really great angles of me and I'm quite particular because sometimes I'm just like, yeah, but I don't, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, that's not my good side. So because he knows and I never really have to explain anything to him, he just, the camera rolls and we're going. So today I had to do it myself and that shoot was five different pictures. And now when you're doing it by yourself, you got to move the tripod around. You got to get your shot. You got to connect your phone to your camera. You got to do everything. It's a lot of work. By the time you are finished, you are finished. <laughs> like physically spent yourself. Um, so that was that today. <laughs> Before I close off this vlog, there is something that I do want to discuss with y'all. I ain't finna do Vlogmas. Take a moment, think about it. It's water in here. I've been chugging down water all day today. Uh, and I only managed to eat, I think around half past two, three, I don't know, somewhere there. I'm not going to be doing Vlogmas, gents, okay? And the reason being is that I'm tired. I don't feel like doing Vlogmas. This is the honest truth. I don't feel like doing Vlogmas. The thing is, I will be putting out content in December. I will probably be doing three videos a week or whatever, but they are not going to be Vlogmas-based videos. You might catch, within a vlog, a normal vlog, you might catch me decorating for Christmas. Or you might catch me doing whatever, blah, blah. But you're not, or, or baking, or whatever, all these things that people tend to associate Vlogmas with. You might catch me doing those kinds of things, but I'm not going to title my videos Vlogmas because I'd be lying. I'd be lying. I'm still going to do my sit-down videos. I'm still going to do vlogs. I will try and maybe do two vlogs a week because uh, in December I don't go to work. So, you know, uh, as soon as next well. But Vlogmas in particular is a no for me, gents. Um, and yeah, it, it's just because I feel like um, if I committed to doing Vlogmas, chances are I'm going to spend a lot of money in December. Truly, if I commit to doing Vlogmas, I'll probably spend a lot of money in December, which is money I do not want to spend. I do not want to spend my money this December for that, but I don't want to vlog that kind of stuff. I don't want to give myself any more reason to spend more money. I'm going to spend money on what I have to spend money on in December, but I'm not going to spend unnecessary copious amounts of money because I'm trying to get out vlogmas content. That's that not going to happen. There'll be sit down videos. There'll be vlogs. If you catch that I have bought something for the house in a vlog, in a random vlog, fine. So be it. But um, committing to Vlogmas for me really this year, it's a no for me. It's a no for me. I just don't want to do it. I really don't want to put myself under that much pressure. And um, I, I, I just don't want to do it. Okay. Oh, one of the other reasons that I did want to share with you yesterday and I never got a chance to share it with you. One of the major reasons why I refuse to spend money on useless vlogmas content. No offense. No offense. Uh, one of the is because I've had so much money that I need to spend for things that need to be fixed in the house. Like we had a hectic storm last week that brought down most of my fisher boards, barge boards that are on the roof and whatever and got some getting somebody in to come fix that that is costly you know and there's just there's just little bits and pieces of things that i need to sort out and for me that is more important keeping my home in 
pristine condition is more important than going out to vlogmas and spending money doing lunches with friends and buying clothes and blah 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 it just doesn't make any viable sense for me uh that actually reminds me i am starting a video re restarting a video concept that i used to do about two years ago called my life in photos so basically how this one happens is if you see a picture either on my twitter or my instagram that i have posted up and you you like the picture and you want to know the backstory behind the picture do me a favor because for my life in photos this is what i did back then somebody would pick a picture one of my followers would pick a picture and say please explain what's the backstory behind this picture and then what i do in return for the follower in question okay is um i share whatever it is that they want me to share uh about them on my channel so i i'll i'll share whatever i'll say so balisa picked this picture this is what the picture is about and then balisa asked me to share this so the reason why i chose to do it now especially in december for my vlogs and all of that is because December for me is a time to spend with family, to give thanks, to uh, give back, to reflect on the year that you've had and all of that. And I feel like it would be a great opportunity for all, any one of you guys who watches my channel and who follows me on Instagram to do a shout out, maybe to a parent, to a sister, to uh, uh, a friend, um, you know, just, just thanking them for being there with you or whatever. You can talk about whatever. If you're a smaller YouTuber and you want me to give a shout out to your channel for you, for my subscribers to go check it out, it's fine. I, I really do not care what it is. Uh, it's my way of just saying I'm giving thanks and giving back to you guys to say, look, I notice all the times you comment on my videos. I notice all the time you comment on my Instagram snaps and pictures and all of that. Um, but let's use this opportunity, this My Life in Photos segment to, you know, say thanks, give thanks, share what you've learned this year. Uh, what you could do better, whatever it is that you want to share. So yeah, there will be, I'll try and do the My Life in Photos um, segment once a week. If I don't do it as a standalone, I will feature it in a vlog as well. So it's going to happen once or twice a week. And uh, you guys can, you know, tell me what you want me to say. You know, just pick a picture on my Instagram, I'll give you the backstory, and then you give me your shout out, and I'll put it on the channel. That's pretty much it. I feel like I'm rambling. So I hope you guys have a good one. I will talk to you in the next video slash vlog, whatever it is. Uh, keep well, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye, y'all.